All right, so today what we're looking at is going to be my uh, blade guide. Uh, I found all of these uh, bearings here. They're double sealed, as you can see. Try to keep the junk out of there as best I can. Um, I found all these on the web at a particular uh, forest type website. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, fairly cheap. Um, this is obviously the V groove uh, is going to be the going to sit like this, and the uh, blade will fit right inside here. So I've been trying to figure out how I want to go about. Um, actually putting together my system and what I found was I had some of these bolts from actually they're from uh, <laughs> they're actually from this uh, they were the bolts that were left over from here uh, that I didn't need once I welded all this up and what I found out was that they fit perfectly right inside there um, it gives me quite a bit of distance here uh, to go through what I need to do and so I was trying to figure out okay obviously I've got two sets of these and they're going to sit like this and it's like well how do you how do you get them to sit like that uh, something that's not going to take up too much space and that's when I realized I had this one inch tubing so what I think I'm probably going to do is um, probably going to drill out excuse me probably going to just drill these things out and that way I can bolt these through uh, put some washers on the back side here uh, to keep it off of this so it doesn't touch there. Uh, the other good thing is by using this inch and a half, or this one inch tubing here, uh, it, it's going to allow me to keep the blade, um, excuse me, the, uh, the V groove fairly close to it. Uh, I've been looking at it and I think if I put the one inch tubing next to it, you'll see I can. I can get pretty close with it, and then these two will sit relatively close. It's kind of hard to tell uh, with that. But anyway, so this gives me the ability to mount these two in here and still keep uh, the back bearing um, fairly close to this so that it's not too far away because you want this to be as close as possible. Uh, not that it's going to be touching it all the time, I don't believe. Um, I guess we'll find out. But anyway, the plan is to use a metal rod on the back side that's going to give me some ability to adjust up and down, left and right, the whole head. Um, so I'm thinking that by using this one-inch tubing, um, I should be able to get away with that. All right, so I have spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to get the, uh, the blade guide in here. Uh, obviously, like we've discussed before, I'm trying to keep it inside as close as I can. So building a, you know, a big honking uh, contraption that has bolts sticking out of all four sides is not an option. So uh, like we discussed, uh, I'm going to use this flat plate. And here's what I came up with. Um, obviously, I still got my, way, uh, my blade guides that I built earlier. But as you can see, I've gone and... I'll put this down so I've gone and welded on some nuts across from each other and uh, I left it open so that you can see what I've done uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld another plate that goes all the way across here that keeps this keeps this in here but what this does is this gives me the ability to raise and lower the whole thing or twist it up or down to make sure that the blade is actually level um, or perpendicular I should say to my cut so um, <laughs> it's taken quite a bit I have no idea how many hours I've been farting with this thing trying to figure out how to get this to fit on here so uh, at the end of the day it's gonna sit like that um, I will weld it on here like I said and then it will clear Pretty well. Let's see if I can come up here and show you how it doesn't stick out too far. Um, obviously, there will be different lengths of the standoffs here, pipes that I'm going to use to hold the logs. Uh, but that right there, I think, is going to do the trick. Uh, <laughs> it took me quite a bit of a trial and error, several iterations, trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, the, the last thing I still have to do is I still need to add. Um, 
the v-groove uh, pulley right here that its job will be to uh, obviously uh, run along the back over here so still have to do that part there and then go ahead and uh, treat this thing because I'm not going to be able to paint it so I'll treat this and then paint this here um, but uh, I believe that's going to work I'm pretty happy with it All right, so I finally found the metric bolts and nuts I needed for this uh, V-groove that I made and finally figured out how to mount this thing in here. So uh, as you can tell, I've mounted a little 3 8 plate down here and I've got it tacked in right now. And then you can see how it's just, it's kind of hard to see there, but it's just in front of the back of this so that the blade will probably never reach the back of these bearings right here. Um, it gives me the ability by welding the nut down here, I mean the bolt down here, and then giving me two nuts. I have the ability to kind of raise and lower this a little bit uh, to match exactly where it fits in here, which is good. Um, it's just a little off, as you can tell, uh, so it doesn't make contact with it. Uh, that's about as compact as a setup as I could get. You can kind of, if you look through there, see if I can, you can kind of see where that, that bearing is at. So uh, this setup seems to be the most compact version I could make um, to go with the bracketry that I made. Um, walk over here and kind of show you how it's going to turn out. I have to pull the belt off to actually get it in here. Um, but you can see how I've got the uh, guide bracket mounted in here. And then obviously this little bar will go through there. Uh, but just for the sake of showing you, Fits in there just like that on the top, and it'll just kind of sit off where the blade is just not quite touching it. Um, but I think that's going to work just fine. As you can tell, it fits inside, uh, so it's not going to make contact with there. I was worried about it making contact with that. So once it's in there, uh, it'll go inside that plate right there. And then those four bolts are going to give me the ability to raise and lower the whole thing or change the angle so that the saw blade is, is parallel with the wood that I'm cutting. So, uh, very happy with this. This turned out really well, I think. Um, we'll see how long it lasts and how sturdy it is. I'll have to finish welding it out. Um, so the idea will be, I will probably go ahead and I will duplicate this again for this side here. Uh, although I will probably reverse this. Um, yeah, I will probably put it on the other side. That way I can keep this um, inside, close, you know, as close to this as possible. Um, so that once I have this slide mounted here, I'm going to have a plate that comes down from here uh, that this will, this whole setup. So I have another, I'm going to duplicate this, will be welded on a plate that comes off of here. And I should be able to run that plate almost all the way flat to that, making sure that I can get the widest cut I can possibly get. And so by flipping this whole assembly around, uh, obviously it won't be this way, but you'll get the idea. It'll run like this um, so that I can get that all the way in there so I can get as wide as possible. Uh, that was the one concern I had when I started this was most people, they're Give me their blade guides um you know they, they take up like four inches and once you get the bolts and everything and they're just big and bulky and i've only got 42 inches from one side to the other and i didn't want to lose eight inches or whatever for that so by doing it this way i'm able to get as much as possible so all right so uh, i've been working on my uh, adjustable um, blade guide slide as you can see, I got a two-inch pipe there. Uh, what I ended up doing was, I ended up using a a extent. It's, uh, this was actually a. Uh, let's see if I can get over here. So this, is, as you can tell, is a a uh, receiver hitch extender that I had floating around forever and a day. It was really the only thing I could find that actually would fit this uh, available around here uh, without buying a whole twenty-foot stick. So uh, it works great. It's nice and thick already has a hole in it so what I'm gonna do is I'll weld a nut on here uh, with a bolt the handle on it so that that'll give me the locking uh, mechanism for that 
All right, so kind of wrapping up the day, and as you can see, I have my blade guides pretty well done. Uh, this one ended up being just a plate uh, welded on here. I didn't bother messing, cutting an angle or anything like that. I wanted all the strength in there. Uh, the only thing I'm probably going to end up doing is welding an angle back from here just so I can have plenty of stability on this side here because this is the side that's going to move. Obviously, uh, I can slide it one way or the other. Um, as you can see, it's not quite as far back as I want it on the second bearing. Um, it is almost making contact basically. If I push it all the way back, you'll see that it's not quite, there it goes. Okay, so that's making contact with that back bearing. Uh, it's kind of hard to see how far, but it's about halfway on that back bearing. So what I think I'm probably gonna do is, I'm probably gonna put a couple more washers behind this uh, to push this out, because I got plenty of this. So I'm probably gonna put a couple washers back there to push this farther out away from this. Uh, like I said, we'll probably do it on both sides because I have a similar issue here. Actually, no, this one's, no, look at it, this one's fine. No, this one's okay. So this one turned out fine. Um, I like the fact that I have the ability to adjust this and then uh, all I have to do is make sure that it's twisted, the angle is right, so that uh, the groove in there and this blade are perpendicular. Uh, not perpendicular, sorry, parallel to each other. <laughs> it's been a long day. But as you can tell, uh, this setup here seems to work very well because I have the ability to go in and out if I need to, and then I can loosen these and raise and lower the whole assembly. So this is a much narrower adjustment setup than most of the ones I have seen on the internet. So what I'll show you on this side is that when I push this back, I'm literally able to go all the way back to it and touch it. And the whole assembly slides past this. And so um, that is exactly what I wanted. I wanted, to, I wanted to, to lose, I don't want to lose a whole lot of space by having all of this on the inside. So this turned out very, very well. I uh, still have to do the locking mechanism on the back to keep it from moving around. Uh, but uh, very happy with this whole assembly.